David Broad at work as an apprentice at Majorlift. This innovative engineering firm makes high quality components for the automotive industry. Pit, scissor and vertical transmission jacks, alongside fittings for agriculture, rail and aerospace. David realises the huge benefits of hands-on experience. So here um, I do a range of things. One of the main things is making the jigs and fixtures and fittings for the CNC machines, which are computer numerical controlled machines. You can program them with the computer and they'll do all the cutting for you, which is much more accurate than doing it yourself. Apprentices spend part of their time at college. Ryan Cox is in his third and final year of an HND course at Gloucestershire Engineering Training, where a real-life work environment's created. Students clock in and out. I've been uh, using the uh, lathe to machine iron a bar of steel. It's quite important to uh, this role because it gives you all the basic skills of how to machine and manufacture in the business. The latest project was making a quarter scale pit jack for a major lift. So that way then you can actually carry it yourself in your arms because it's light enough and you don't need three or four guys to be able to carry the jack into the place. The course combines on-the-job experience with academic studies. The thing about design is a big aspect of engineering itself because without the drawings you obviously won't have a component to make. Competition for apprenticeships is fierce. Ryan was one of 500 applying at GET for 100 places. Firms contribute more financially as students get older. It not only gives them the, the knowledge and skills in terms of the technical specialisms they require, but it also gives them the work experience and quite often that lacks from people that have stayed in full-time education. So it gives them the opportunity to mix with, with older generations as well as younger generations, develop the right work attitude and work ethic, which is really, really important to employers. But also from the young person's point of view, they're being paid to learn. You know, someone's actually paying them to do their job. I feel passionately about apprenticeships for major lift. Having started as an apprentice on Teesside when I was 19, that gave me the background knowledge and understanding of the passion people can have for craft skills. Uh, it's a brilliant opportunity. For one, I'm getting trained, getting loads of, loads of knowledge, as well as getting work experience. And being in a company like this where you see the raw well, the materials coming in and then the final product going out, it allows you to see where all your knowledge is work, like in real life where the knowledge that you're learning is actually applied. And we think it's important to put effort into training the next generation of engineers. We need skilled people to run our factory, to program our machines uh, and to take over the management in due course. Ryan was shortlisted into the final four in this year's National Apprenticeship Awards. I think it's fantastic that Ryan's been shortlisted and, and, and nominated for the award and it's a great um, mark of, of Ryan's achievements and also it's a mark of investment from the employer that's given him the opportunity to, to, to prosper and achieve. Um, I think that I'll be staying at Major for quite some time just to be able to one thank him for all the support they've given me and two it's a really good company to be working for. GET would like more businesses like Majorlift to invest time and money in apprentices.